Hi everybody, uh, today's review of uh, Monday, September 26th. Um, overall, market uh, was down. Uh, um, that story really depends on who you talk with and how you measure things. Um, but in general, things were down. Uh, you can see from the VWAP to VWAP, uh, it wasn't a huge loss. Um, I can just measure this here um, so you can see on a measurement we can do from yesterday, uh, which is right around in here, uh, to right over here, which is about 0.8% down. Um, or you could say from VWAP to VWAP, uh, almost 0.36 or 35% down. So not a whole lot down, um, but down nonetheless. Um, so on the positive side, Amazon did pretty well today. A consumer cyclical did pretty well. Consumer defensive did okay. Uh, but you can see energy got uh, hit pretty hard uh, today, uh, as well as financials and uh, some others, uh, healthcare, and uh, even in uh, semiconductor software didn't do so great. Uh, here's a chart. Uh, the bigger the bubble in this chart, the larger the market cap. Uh, so you can see Apple, uh, the largest in the, the S&P 500. Um, in, in the world here is basically doing okay today um, not too bad a little bit up on the positive side um, and you can see also uh, Tesla doing so-so uh, today as well uh, Microsoft just a little bit down um, on there and then you can see uh, Google just down a little bit here today um, tiny bit uh, and then Amazon doing quite well today um, and then the x-axis is the price to sales axis so the further you are to the right the worse it is in general um, so you kind of got to be skeptical of uh, things like Tesla here uh, maybe MasterCard and Visa as well but uh, this just depends on how you measure price to sales how dangerous you think that is so uh, the good news is today, uh, today did show a pretty good sign. It did show last night. Uh, we broke above VWAP around 3 a.m. Uh, well, actually, I was around, yeah, 3 a.m., I guess. Uh, and then 3.30 uh, a.m., it started to 3.45 or so, started to drop and head back towards VWAP and then went back up and down. And then finally started to go below VWAP at about 5.23 uh, a.m. So from there, it was looking pretty bad. Um, and then... Right around 8.20, uh, things started to get a little bit better. So you can see that we were above VWAP for most of the early part of the morning uh, until about 10.23 a.m. Uh, so to me, that gave me a pretty good sign that uh, things might be turning around, at least uh, when you look at the multi-day chart here, you can see um, that we really kind of hit a low level here. Um, this may mean uh, some sort of a turnaround, but not necessarily a major turnaround, uh, but at least a temporary one, at least for now. It'd be nice to see the MACD here. You can see that um, we're about ready to cross over on a 30-minute chart um, heading upwards. So, But we're still on the negative side, below zero uh, for MACD. Uh, so in terms of the volume for the day, uh, we started off with pretty positive volume, and then we broke negative volume uh, right in here, somewhere between 10, 10.30. Uh, and then it was looking pretty bad uh, for most of the rest of the day until the end of the day where we got a little bit of positive volume. Um, and even now, after hours we're starting to see some positive volume again um, so whether or not that will kind of like uh, breach this whole negative cavity that we had here um, I don't know uh, but it's likely to even out a little bit we are pretty far below VWAP as you can see here um, so maybe head back toward VWAP is pretty likely at this point and for the volume for the day you can see down here uh, did quite start kind of positive in positive turf uh, and then dropped off quite a bit um, here in terms of overall volume. So that's maybe part of the problem. We just didn't have uh, the support uh, that it was right at the start of the day at 930. Um, and I was watching it carefully. And if you notice, there's a couple negative volumes right in here, 930, 937, and so on. So that wasn't quite good right at the very, very start. And then it kind of just went down and then up. So that was kind of a scary moment right at the start of the day. Um, and you can see we kind of tapered off uh, as the volume tapered off, uh, so did the price, uh, which doesn't always necessarily have to happen. Um, usually if the price in the volume, if the volume is not consistent, um, the volume is low, that means the price is not necessarily supported. Um, so the price was maybe more supported back in here um, 
near VWAP. Um, and you can see that we're kind of climbing towards VWAP here. Um, most of the time when the volume was higher, we were either above VWAP um, or we were um, close to VWAP. So in terms of today, you can see that the force of the move was definitely on the positive side. So there was much more uh, volume and price action on the positive side, but it just was sustained on the negative side. So that's a good sign, at least on the positive note. Um, you can see that uh, it did take quite some time to get down back down to uh, zero land on the force vector here. This is a for yield force index, which is basically the price times the volume. Uh, and looking at that, um, uh, so I've been trying to keep track of when is a good time of the day to be trading. Uh, you can see right here at the start of the day, when we're above zero for the volume uh, oscillator, typically that's good. And then we're also above the signal line here, which is a 16 period moving average, exponential moving average. Um, that in general means it's pretty good idea to trade in those periods. Uh, you can see that there's some some trading in the middle of the day that was okay to do, uh, and then at the end of the day that was pretty good trading as well. Now overall on the average to range, uh, we dropped slightly today on the average to range, but we have been climbing in general, so we should expect uh, some more volatility in the market. Um, I don't see this. Uh, dropping in volatility it's actually going to probably be keep increasing uh, in volatility maybe heading up into about uh, nine points on the spy per day um, now that now a nine point move you can measure that you see that this is approximately nine points so right there from there to there is about nine points which is about two and a half percent so we're likely to see uh, quite a number of two and a half percent days uh, coming up in the near future. Um, so the really kind of odd thing uh, was that we did see a major move into the market in terms of money today. That happened around 10 o'clock today, so earlier in the morning. Um, definitely people were putting money into the market. Um, and you can see that kind of goes back far back into the range of about 39.20 level. So that uh, corresponds to, you know, a lot of people were expecting to have maybe you know, a 6% move on the positive side. So the amount of money that we saw uh, going in was kind of similar to what we saw back here on uh, the 19th of September. Now, interesting, if you were to study just the volume, uh, you can see that we've basically been going up. Um, so while the price has been going down, we basically have a divergence uh, on the volume side. So that's maybe very good news. Uh, on the positive side um, of things. Now on the price volume trend, um, you see it's basically the opposite of that. So when you take the price times the volume, then you sum that up, you can see we kind of been dropping quite a bit, um, even in recent times. So the price, so basically there's been some differences um, on the volume side that we need to take a careful look at. So uh, when you compare the two volumes of yesterday versus today, uh, you can see that we basically started with pretty negative volume here and then kind of climbed up to positive volume near the end of the day. Um, so that took a lot of that took a lot of effort to get the whole day basically positive and then at the end of the day it kind of dropped again. So that's what happened yesterday, but today we started with positive volume then dropped suddenly to a negative volume and then spent most of the rest of the day climbing towards positive volume and then dropped again. So this to me is a little bit of concern. You can see some positive volume kind of starting to get back in here near the end of the day. Um, but uh, it was quite a, more of a rocky ride uh, today than yesterday. And you can kind of compare that. Again, you saw this start of the day with negative volume. Uh, uh, that, that was this is actually this is fr last Friday and this is Thursday here. So you see that Thursday we kind of had some differences. Uh, and how we saw. So we're actually looking at Thursday here and then Wednesday. And Wednesday was probably more similar to what we had today, um, with the exception that it was even more volatile uh, on Wednesday. So, uh, but basically we're looking at a pretty positive. This, this up here was at 22K and down here was around 21K. So overall we're saying that the volume was a little bit more skewed on the force of the positive side. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty good idea to study the volume here to get an idea of what's going on. You can see that we had that positive volume at the end of the day here on Friday, uh, and then a positive volume streak uh, kind of here 
uh, at the start of the day, um, but then there was pretty negative volume right at the end of the day. So that's pretty much the concern um, that we have for the rest of the week. So it may be that uh, volatility here is increasing a little bit. You can see uh, we had basically major volatility on the 21st, so nothing like that we should expect, but looks like at least in these last couple days, um, we're kind of at the higher end of volatility even right now. So we should expect uh, maybe a day not quite as volatile as today, but maybe going up or down in one direction uh, mostly. So I currently have an open trade here. I'm about $30 on the trade. Um, so the logic here is that we really had a level of support down here at the low end, uh, and I kind of just detected that overnight. We Just this drop was a little bit too much right at the end of the day. Uh, and we're heading up here uh, kind of significantly uh, after hours. So I just bought in at a lower point here um, and just expecting us to hit basically back towards VWAP maybe tonight, maybe even up above. Uh, at uh, 3710 level, we'll see if that makes it that far, um, but certainly it could um, make it pretty high tonight. So I'll probably set a stop uh, somewhere just above, maybe above VWAP, maybe slightly below VWAP. Looks like right in here, we kind of had at 3687, uh, that was kind of a midpoint range for the day. Uh, so what I'm going to do is set a one cancels other, and I can see that we have kind of another level of support in this area so i'm going to set it right around in here uh, for the bottom and then the top i would set pretty much right over here right below the web is what i'm going to do so 36.87 is where i'm looking at 36.87 right around here so that'll be the other selling point and that order will be the one that i'm going to try to hold on to that tonight so the only problem with that order really has to do with that there is a lot of volume uh, just in today uh, on the lower side. So down at uh, 3666, um, but as you add uh, more of the volume towards the yesterday, early early morning hours, you can start to see that um, the start of the day really did matter a lot. So I'm going to try to stick to the 3688 uh, level or 87 level. And you can see on the money flow that uh, essentially the money is flowing into the market. That's a good sign. Um, and then we got uh, basically positive MACD here, but it is kind of dropping recently in the last, I don't know, 10 or so minutes. Uh, MACD has been dropping, which hasn't been so good, but uh, hopefully that will just stay above zero. Um, we'll stay positive on the MACD side. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review of the stock market uh, for uh, September 26th. Let me know if you got any questions. Please like, put a thumbs up on this video, and subscribe. And let me know if you got any ideas or thoughts. Thanks a lot. See you.